Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're going to be in um, the Haley's hand, Bible Handbook. And we are in the last two chapters in the book of Isaiah. And then I'm going to do a separate video and it's going to be a summary of Isaiah's predictions. So, here, let's do 65 and 66. The new heavens and the new earth. These two chapters are God's answers to the exile's prayer of the previous two chapters. The prayer shall be answered. The fateful remnant shall be restored. In 65 verses 8 through 10. New nations shall be brought into the fold. 65 1 and 66 8. All shall be called a new name, 6515. They shall inherit a new heavens and a new earth. And that's 6517 and 6622. The faithful and the disobedient shall be forever separated. The eternal blessedness for one, eternal punishment for the other. Verses, uh, chapter 66, verses 22 through 24. Jesus himself endorsed these words in Mark 9, 48. Peter's closing message to Christians was to keep their eyes on the new heavens and the new earth. That's in 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 10 through 14. The, new, the Bible reaches its final climax in a magnificent vision of the new heavens and the new earth, Revelation 21 through 22, which vision is an expansion of Isaiah 66. No temple or sacrifice, it seems, will be needed in the new order. Chapter 66, verses 1 through 4, and Revelation chapter 21, verse 22. And now we'll go to the King James Version of the Holy Bible, the modern version, and read chapters 65 and 66. And now we'll conclude our study of the book of Isaiah. <laughs> we just keep plowing through them, guys. Oh, I hope you are learning and enjoying as much as I am. God's Word is so magnificent. 65, chapter 65 in the book of Isaiah and the King James Modern Bible. Let's see. I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. I said, Behold me, behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. A people that provoked me to anger continually to my face, that sacrificeth in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick, which remain among the graves and lodge in the mount monuments, which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things in their vessels which say, Stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all day. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will recompense, even recompense into their bosom. Your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, saith the Lord, which have burned incense upon the mountains and blasphemed me upon the hills. Therefore will I measure their former work into their bosom. Thus saith the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, Destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servants' sake, that I may not destroy them all. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob, and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains, and mine elect shall inherit it, 
and my servant shall dwell there. And Sharon shall be a fold of flocks, and the valley of Ajor a place for the herds to lie down in. For my people have that have sought me, excuse me, for my people that have sought me. Besides ye are they that forget forsake the law. Oh, excuse me again. Let me pull this book open so I can see what these words are. Verse 11. But ye are they that forsake the Lord, Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that truth, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Now that troop is actually translated literally troop or fortune, a pagan deity. And so that number is the number or destiny of pagan deity. Verse 12. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, and did not, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen, for the Lord God shall slay thee and call his servants by another name, that he who blesseth himself in the earth shall bless himself in God of truth. And he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the God of truth, because the former troubles are forgotten, and because they are hid from mine eyes. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. Remember I told you that he will take away the memory of the people in our families and friends, acquaintances, um, co-workers, neighbors, anyone who's not saved, that he will take away the memory of them. Here he is saying that very thing. For, and this is in Isaiah chapter 65, verse 18. No, verse 17. For, behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. But be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For, behold, I create Jerusalem, a rejoicing in her people, a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem, and joy in my people, and the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. There shall be no more tents an infant of days, nor an old man that hath not filled his days. For the child shall die an hundred years old, but the sinner being an hundred years old shall be accursed. And they shall build houses and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, then mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. And they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer, and while they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straw like the bullock, and dust 
shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, saith the Lord. Chapter 66, the final chapter in the book of Isaiah. Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? For all those things hath mine hand made, and all those things have been, saith, saith the Lord. But to this man that I look, even to him that is poor, and of a contrite spirit, and trembleth at my word. He that killeth an ox is as he if he slew a man. He that sacrifices a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. He that offereth an oblation as if he offered swine's blood. He that burneth incense as if he blessed an idol. Yea, they have chosen their ways and their soul delighteth in their abominations. I will choose their delusions. I will also choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before mine eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. Hear the word of the Lord, ye that tremble at his word. Your brethren that hated you, that cast you out for my name's sake, said, Let the Lord be glorified, but he shall appear to your joy, and they shall be ashamed. A voice of noise from a city, a voice from the temple, a voice of the Lord that rendereth recompense to his enemies. Before she travailed, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man child. Who hath heard such a thing? Who has seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. Shall I bring to the birth and not cause to bring forth? saith the Lord, shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb, saith thy God? Rejoice ye with Jerusalem and be glad with her. All ye that love her, rejoice for joy with her. All ye that mourn for her, that ye may suck and be satisfied with the breast of her consolations, that ye may milk out and be delighted with the abundance of her glory. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to her, like a river, and the glory of the Gentiles, like a flowing stream. Then shall ye suck. Ye shall be borne upon her sides, and be dangled upon her knees, as one whom his mother comforteth. So will I comfort you, and ye shall be comforted in Jerusalem. And when ye see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like an herb. And the hand of the Lord shall be known toward his servants, and his indignation toward his enemies. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with frame, flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh, and the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. For I know their works and their thoughts. It shall come that I will gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my glory. And I will set a sign among them, and I will send those that escape of them unto the nations, to Tarshish, Pul, and Lud, that draw the bow to Tubal and Javan, to the isles afar off, 
that they have not heard my name, neither have seen my glory. They shall declare my glory among the Gentiles, and they shall bring all your brethren for an offering unto the Lord, out of all nations upon horses, and in chariots, and in litters, and upon mules, and upon swift beasts, to my holy mountain Jerusalem, saith the Lord as the children of Israel bring an offering in a clean vessel into the house of the Lord. And I will also take of them for priests and for Levites, saith the Lord. For as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make, shall remain before me, saith the Lord, so shall your seed and your name remain, and it shall come to pass, that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me, for their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched, and they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh. And as always, I love you.